Hey guys, I'm Chris. Welcome to Show Me the Hogs. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can easily add line onto your bait caster. It's not as difficult as you might think, and I'm going to demonstrate that by putting some 12 pound fluorocarbon onto my Diode Procaster 80 right here. So without further ado, let's get to it. So the only two things you're going to need besides your line, rod, and reel is an old cardboard box and a long rod-like object like a pin or a screwdriver, but for this video I'm going to be using a tent stake. And what you're going to do is you're going to create two holes on either side of this box. I'm going to run this tent stake through that first hole, then take my spool of line, I'm going to run it over that tent stake, then take the other end of the tent stake and run it through that second hole. And now I've got a free spinning spool that will allow me to add line to that bait caster with no problem at all. Next, I'm going to thread my line through the first guide above the reel. I'm going to take my line down to the reel and thread it through the top. Once my line is inside the reel, you're going to notice there are some holes on the spool. I'm going to take that line and I'm going to thread it through one of those holes. The reason for this, when you get that line stuck in that reel like that, you're going to turn the reel once or twice so that the line gets wrapped around the spool. That will enable you to tie a knot around that spool. So now that my line is wrapped around the spool, I can begin tying the knot. Now to tie the line onto the spool, I'm going to be using an improved clinch knot. If you don't know how to tie an improved clinch knot, be sure to check out our improved clinch knot video. Now that the line is on the reel, I'm going to trim off the tag end. Once the tag end is trimmed, I can begin adding line onto the reel. Add as much line as you need appropriate for the reel and the weight of the line that you're using. And that is how you add line onto a bait caster. If you guys enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up and we'd appreciate it if you consider subscribing. If you have any comments or questions on this video, be sure to leave it in the comment section below and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.